We're gonna do things a little bit differently today. Normally I talk about how I love a particular fragrance, how I experience it, etc., etc. This is Narcotic Venus, and in my opinion, this is very female leaning. It does fall in a floral category. I do like florals, but not floral family. This is in my wife's collection. So this is something that she owns and she enjoys using. So today what I'm gonna do is talk about how my wife enjoys using it and how I enjoy the experience of my wife using it. So what's my response to, to this particular fragrance? In preparation for this, I did ask my wife, tell me more about how you experience, I know how I experience this fragrance on her, but I wanna know how she feels about this fragrance on her. But I am gonna spray. Cause I think it's important to smell the fragrance as we talk about it. For me, instantly, this is my wife. Uh, the moment I smell it, I'm like, oh, Sandra. Um, so, Sandra, my wife, Sandra mentioned that for her, this is a five to six hour duration. She feels that it's moderate, her, that the sillage on this is actually moderate. I asked her, what does it make you feel? So why do you love wearing it? Why is this in your collection? And uh, these, are, these are sort of questions that, uh, she hates the marketing, you know, she hates the, uh, the, the fine, is it a spring morning that you're, uh, but I, I just wanted to understand what is it that, because I feel that fragrance changes our emotional state. And so by putting on a fragrance, what is it that you're feeling? You know, why do you wear this? So Sandra mentioned that this is pure joy to her. And this is happiness. Now it is a white flower fragrance. It's a, pretty much a celebration of uh, you know, jasmine, tuberose and things of that nature, but it doesn't go to crazy that sort of heady white flower place. To my nose, and actually even Sandra said the same thing, there is a slight sort of animalic component to it. Alessandro Galtieri doesn't tell you what are in the notes, but it could be like a slight leathery suede accord. It doesn't have those heady notes that white flower fragrances can create. Now, the way that I experience this fragrance on her, Sandra mentioned that it's a moderate. I'm gonna put this really into high. The sillage on this is actually, it, ha it really projects, it creates a wonderful trail. When she's wearing it, you know, five or six meters, I can smell this fragrance. It fills the room essentially. One thing that this fragrance does is it elicits a response from me. I feel like I need to go over it and, and just give her a kiss or, or, or just, I don't know, I, I feel like I need to touch. And and and, and not in, in not in an, a um, not in a sexual way. So it's it's not about that. It, but but it's about. I feel like I need to connect with her. I feel like I need to. I don't know. It, it, it elicits a response from me when it when she is wearing this, which leads me to the name Narcotic Venus. I like I like this name. I feel like this name is in two parts. One thing that I, I asked Sandra, how does this fragrance actually make you feel? Her response is she also likes the fact that it's referencing Venus. I feel goddess-like when I'm wearing this particular fragrance. There, it does, it does push out my femininity. When I think of Venus, I think of the Botticelli painting, The Birth of Venus. I had an opportunity to see this up close. This is in the Uffizi Gallery. This is a real woman. Her name was Simonetta Vespucci. She was actually married to another man. So the, the painter, Sandro Botticelli, he was infatuated uh, with Simonetta and this is a, and if you look at this painting as a whole I'm not going to go into it's not going to be an art show now or an art review but if you look at this painting as a whole this is a celebration of her and in this case she is Venus the goddess of love and so again this is back to the fragrance this is narcotic Venus so Venus being that it's a white floral glorious fragrance which in the case of my wife who loves this kind of fragrance makes her feel feminine but the narcotic component is the response from a man so i think it's fair to say that i i love this fragrance i love it when my wife wears it um i think it's a beautiful celebration of female power it does elicit as i mentioned a response from me uh, when my wife is wearing it. I would love to know anyone who actually owns Narcotic Venus, what are your thoughts on it? How does it make you feel? Um, actually, I'd love to hear it from both, uh, from a male perspective and a female perspective. If you are interested in Narcotic Venus or any of the Nasomato, know that Fragrance Artisan is supporting the my channel. Uh, the code is NFC5 and you can get 5% discount. Thank you everyone. Look forward to seeing you on the next episode. Yeah.